What do we see the economic impact is going to be? Yeah, the Treasurer is warning there's going to be a substantial impact on prices. And if we consider the area of Victoria that went underwater over the weekend, um, this is a part of the country where a lot of Australia's food comes from. So uh, Jim Chalmers says you're going to see the impact in the supermarket aisles of the town of Rochester, for example. 85% of that went underwater. There's two dead, two missing. Uh, the Murray-Darling uh, Basin area, also a rich agricultural area, um, severely impacted. Victoria was on target for a record harvest uh, that's now gone out the window and even here uh, west of Sydney a big grain producing area um, yields are going to suffer there as well and we saw an impact on the market yesterday uh, Costa Group which is a big uh, fruit supplier uh, short sort shares hit to the tune of 13 percent in terms of the budget uh, Jim Chalmers says there's going to be a risk for that next week as well uh, last summer's floods uh, cost six billion dollars this lot of floods haven't been costed yet but also probably going to be in the billions Paul, it's already been a year of record rainfall in Australia. What more could be coming? Yeah, if we cast our minds way back to 2019-2020 when large portions of the country were on fire, uh, that came to an end uh, thanks to a biblical deluge. But since then, it feels like it's never really stopped. Uh, it's a nice day today, but uh, rain has been very much uh, the norm. Uh, we're in the grip of our third consecutive La Nina event now. That means wetter conditions in eastern Australia. And the rain is coming back uh, to Victoria here in New South Wales, uh, to Brisbane in the state of Queensland and the southern island state of Tasmania as well all going to be hit this week. We're expecting to see 34,000 homes in Victoria evacuated. Uh, last week, Sydney broke a rainfall record, uh, which has stood since 1950. We've now had the most rainfall in record, on record in Sydney, 2.2 metres. Uh, that is 87 inches. And mm. uh, bear in mind, there's still uh, more than two months of the year left.